If you have SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, you're probably going to find this video interesting because there's some brand new research that just came out that discusses how well the elemental diet works, not just for hydrogen SIBO, but also methane. What's up and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Daniel Ricciardi, gut health expert, licensed pharmacist, fitness enthusiast, and creator of SIBO Shortcut. In this video, I'm gonna break down a brand new research study talking about the elemental diet. The elemental diet is generally pretty well accepted to be a good treatment option for hydrogen dominant SIBO but until now there's pretty limited data on how it works for methane dominant SIBO which is now known as intestinal methanogen overgrowth or IMO and as a quick disclaimer the information provided in this video is for informational and educational purposes only and is not intended as medical advice what do we know about the elemental diet so far we know that they're meant to be full meal replacements in powder form we know they're intended to have all the vitamins minerals fats amino acids that you need on a daily basis. We know that they're generally considered to be safe for most people. They've been shown to work well for certain conditions such as Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, eosinophilic esophagitis, and short bowel syndrome. With that said, there's also some downsides to using the elemental diet, which is probably why they're not used a lot more. For many people, the elemental diets just taste really bad, which makes it hard for people to stick with it for a full two weeks. Price is also a major factor as well. A single two-week treatment of elemental diet diet can easily cost well over $500, even closer to $1,000. And then also while doing the elemental diet, it's generally been recommended that you avoid eating other foods while doing the elemental diet. Although not all practitioners agree with this. And in certain cases, some practitioners believe that eating certain foods during certain times may be perfectly fine to do with the elemental diet. And speaking of SIBO treatment, if you don't want to waste any time wondering what to do, check out my online program, SIBO Shortcut. When you join, you get all my favorite recommendations as well as personalized support in my private Facebook group. Click the SIBO shortcut link in the pinned comment below for more info. And if you're shopping for elemental diets, you can get 20% off from my Fullscript online dispensary. Click the 20% off link in the pinned comment below to begin shopping. And now back to the rest of the video. This 2004 study by the Journal of Digestive Diseases and Sciences was previously the largest study done on the elemental diet and SIBO. It tested 93 patients with hydrogen dominant SIBO and the results showed that of the 93 subjects available for analysis, 74 or 80% had a normal lactulose breath test on day 15 of the elemental diet. Lactulose breath test, if you're not aware, is the test used to diagnose SIBO. And then it goes on to say, when those who continued to day 21 were included, five additional patients normalized the breath test. So this last sentence is just saying, of the people that still had SIBO even after two weeks, if they went on to do a third week of elemental diet, 5% more patients no longer tested positive for SIBO. The study also showed that one month after finishing the elemental diet, subjects who successfully normalized their breath test had a 66.4% improvement in bowel symptoms compared to 11.9% in those who failed to normalize. So this is basically saying patients who did the elemental diet who cleared their SIBO, they felt about 66% better in terms of digestive symptoms. Whereas the people who were still positive for SIBO after doing the elemental diet, they only had their digestive symptoms improved by about 11%. So the benefits of the elemental diet last at least one month per the follow-up done on this study. Moving ahead to the new study published in May 2024 by the Journal of Gastroenterology. This study looked at patients to see how well an elemental diet worked both for hydrogen SIBO and intestinal methanogen overgrowth. This study is different because it's the first study of its kind that looked at a larger number of patients with intestinal methanogen overgrowth and how well the elemental diet works for it. As for the results of this study, 100% of patients that just had hydrogen dominant SIBO tested negative for SIBO after two weeks of the elemental diet. For intestinal methanogen overgrowth, this number was 58% of patients. And then for patients with both hydrogen and methane, 75% of them tested negative for SIBO after doing two weeks of elemental diet. To break this down further, here are the demographics and results from the study shown a little bit differently. If you bring your attention to this chart, I'm going to point out a couple things in the second column there, the one that says under all subjects, you'll see there's 30 patients total in the study. Four of them had never done any SIBO treatment in the past, while 26 of them had previously unsuccessful treatments, whether this be one treatment or multiple treatments. So if we move our attention one column to the right where it says IMO, we'll see that there's 12 patients in this group that were diagnosed just with the methane overgrowth. You'll see if you go down, there's maximum CH4, which is methane before the elemental diet was done. And then right under that maximum methane after 
after elemental diet was done. And you'll see before, on average, patients had 60 parts per million of methane. And then after treatment with the elemental diet for two weeks, this number is reduced to 16 parts per million. So that is a 44 parts per million reduction in methane. Going one more column to the right, you'll see hydrogen SIBO. There's six patients in this group. And then if you look at the last two columns, you'll see how high the hydrogen was before the elemental diet compared to how high the hydrogen was after the elemental diet. And in this row, we see prior to elemental diet, the average was 82 parts per million. And then after the average was only 11 parts per million. So this is a 71 parts per million reduction on average. It's a pretty compelling argument that the elemental diet it can help for both hydrogen and methane. The product used in this video is one called M Biota Elemental. I'm not affiliated with this product in any way. Part of the study was talking about the palatability of the product, meaning how well patients were able to tolerate the taste over two weeks. In this study, it is notable to say that all 30 patients that did the study, none of them had to discontinue the trial early due to not wanting to take the product anymore. I've never tasted it, so I can't comment on the taste, but just wanted to report this information to you. So for the two main takeaways from this video, number one, the elemental diet seems to be an extremely effective option in treating hydrogen dominant SIBO. In this particular study, it worked for 100% of the patients tested and reduced hydrogen gas levels by 71 parts per million as measured from doing a lactulose breath test before the elemental diet compared to doing a lactulose breath test after two weeks of the elemental diet. And then number two, the elemental diet seems to also be effective for intestinal methanogen over Growth, it was able to clinically eliminate the intestinal methanogen overgrowth in 58% of the people tested and compared from before doing the elemental diet to after. On average, patients experience a 44 part per million reduction in methane gas. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more related content. If you tried an elemental diet or similar SIBO treatment, please let us know down in the comments below what your experience was like. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.